Welcome to my allotment, plot 3 in North Warwickshire. Today I'm going to be looking at uh, crop rotation. I'm looking at the four year rotation. It's just a way of making best use of the uh, nutrients in the soil and controlling the build up of pests and diseases and increasing yields. So this is my brassica bed this year and uh, next year it'll be my roots. So root crops don't like manure so there'll be very little done with this other than moving the cage to uh, the next bed where my beans are at the moment and peas. There's all my beans and peas this time. This is where my brasses uh, will be. So this will get a good lime in once the crops have been taken out. Ready to receive the brassicas. Now when I first started uh, looking at uh, all the paperwork to do with uh, the brassica family uh, I didn't realise it, it, the brassicas included swedes, turnips, radish. That uh, surprised me. But I've kept those in with the roots. Y you don't get any, uh, you don't get too many problems with uh, swedes, turnips and radishes really. And the radishes stay on my... Uh, sat the bed anyway. So the beans, oh yeah and just just one, I don't know, I, I learned off somebody, as we all do, that uh, not to pull the beans and peas out of the ground because they uh, take nitrogen from the air and store it in the roots. So I'll be leaving the roots in the ground when, I, when it gets turned over. This is where my, my outdoor tomatoes and potatoes are going. And the next crop in here next time will be our beans. So everything's just dropping down one. So where my roots are this time, that's where my potatoes will be going. And that will get a good uh, lot of uh, manure in there. Ready for the potatoes, I'll do that in the autumn. Now because these two beds are longer, than the uh, bean and brassica. I've got my squashes, marrows, cucumbers in that one. So next year, there'll be a four year rotation on those as well. So that one will jump to where the onions are, which includes leeks, garlic and spring onions if uh, they're grown in uh, with the onion family. And then on the third year they'll go into the opposite corners. So that they're not uh, So they're only in uh, the same place once every four years. So 
So my root crop will move from there to where my uh, brassicas are now. So uh, I'm going to have to get this all down on paper properly. I have started to uh, do a scale of the uh, plot, uh, but it's a bit awkward to get it on A3 paper, so I've got to work on that. We'll uh, have a little tour. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet this week with the problems I had uh, on the last video where I uh, recorded for too long and I couldn't uh, edit the uh, beginning. We'll have a look around. I've moved the blackberry that I cut off the mother plant that was in the pot into the middle of the uh, fruit cage on the rhubarb side. I'm going to let that go up the top and across both ways. That should keep it away from um, the strawberries. Red and black currants are really putting a lot of growth on. I'm going to have to be careful pruning those next year and I'll have to make sure I feed my uh, blueberries with the correct nutrients as they're more of a acacia type loving plant managed to get the leeks out. They were a little bit small but uh, I think they'll do better in the ground now the soil's warming up. So I've got so many leeks inside and uh, I've dotted them everywhere. This is the mini pop sweet corn. And there's my uh, carrot bed there very tedious trying to weed those. I've uh, given up with the asparagus, that's gone and the beetroot that I thought was gone is still with us. move over to the uh, cords area. So we've got some pumpkins, some courgettes and uh, I've got a watermelon there and I think the rest are cucumbers. I'm really struggling to keep my cucumbers alive. I think they keep rotting off, but uh, I thought yeah, I'm in the ground now and whatever root system they get, hopefully they'll hang on in. I'm going to be watering them from this side. Via the uh, plastic bottles. Potatoes growing well now, keeping a close eye out, listening to other people about blight. It will get me, but hopefully I'll uh, spray before it gets here. I'll finish this area off today where my outdoor tomatoes, tiny tims are going in the uh, tops of the old pipes. Built a little bit of a structure. I don't know how the tomatoes will do outside. Never done it before. We'll find out. The beans are finding their feet now. 
and they're all started to uh, work their way up the pole. So I'll take the fleece off as soon as the uh, weather is a little bit better. But it, just, it seems to be a little bit open just here. I've had to put extra strings on the broad beans to just help support them while the wind's been uh, blowing. I'm uh, really pleased with those. I haven't any more problems with the peas. Seem to have got rid of that little critter. I've filled the two end stations in there, so this is uh, a full row of the French beans. They're only dwarf, so I don't know whether they'll climb the sticks or just I'll help them be supported. But I'll just keep them tidy. And my first lot of peas climbing well now. And me second row of runner beans. This will be where my other sweet corns are going, so I've had to uh, keep them as far apart, far apart as uh, I can because of cross pollination. And in between, uh, I'll put some more celery. I've had a little look for my little friends, the white fly. There's still one or two about, not too many, but it won't be long before I'm actually uh, going to do the recipe for the rhubarb leaf tea insecticide. But uh, I've managed to stop the slugs, etc. And I've interplanted down that side with some uh, swedes to uh, make full use of the space and it does look like I've lost one of my cabbages not bad for the hundred plus I've got in here we'll move on so this is the bed where I do most of my salads and uh, I've also intermingled some more celery. Another row of radishes gone in. The successional sowings working okay. And uh, I've also got some surplus uh, leeks on those as well and I've planted out uh, the spring onions I'm gonna have to put those in toilet rolls because they they don't like being disturbed and they're a devil to try and get out the uh, cells so I'm gonna have to change that I bought some of the potatoes from inside the polytunnel outside just to give me a bit more space and uh, we've got another old dustbin there that'll hold another tomato and then the Tiny Tim trailing it won't be long before the sweet peas are uh, out and about it's hard to keep up with the sunflowers, keep tying them up just potted on some they're either Gardener's Delight or Money Maker. I've passed care in there, it doesn't matter, the tomatoes. I've lost a few more sweet corn, so I'll put some uh, seeds straight into the trays. That's what's left of the leeks. The uh, parsnip uh, carrot chitin trial. There's one or two coming up there. It'll be nice to see how long a uh, tap root there are on those. I put everything I could into those and the remaining tissue went into there. 
So and there's one or two showing there as well. So basically what was left on the tissue has gone in there, so this, we should get a nice little square of anything that was left. The remaining French beans. The stragglers. I oh, should be able to get some more of those in by next week. I've now emptied the, uh, this drum of the nettle tea, tidied the cleaning station up where I clean all my pots and the drum at the end will be with the disinfectant in. So at the moment the pots are in there having a soak and I've got uh, I think that's probably a 15 litres, a 20 litre, another 20 litre. So we've got uh, a fair bit of nettle tea and I've got to decide how I'm going to mix that with water for the concentrate. Trial and error. I've got the bags of stone for my uh, wormery. The lid's fitted now to stop the water getting in and I shall probably have to put some bricks in the bottom, some paving bricks, brick pavers, just to fill out the bottom because the tap was put in an inch or so above the bottom so any juices from the wormery won't sit in the bottom for too long. These are growing well now. Two courgettes. There's the Atlantic Giants. And this hasn't changed much. The lettuce are uh, flying away, really looking clean and tidy. My trial with the Atlantic Giant pumpkin. I've got one in the uh, top of the leaf mould compost bin. And the other one's in the bottom of my old compost bin. So I'll see how it goes. Time's getting on, so I'm going to cut it short there. Thanks everybody for watching, especially all my new subscribers. Happy growing everyone.